Today, we're going to go over all the known abilities that are coming with Frontier Pursuits to Reddit Online. Tuesday, September 10th, to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. This will cover kind of a wide range of things that we know about from the various news wires over the past few days, as well as the trailer. First off, one thing that a lot of people have been requesting is the ability to customize our characters. And starting Tuesday, we'll be able to finally go back and tweak our characters and make them look a little bit better because I know a lot of people have been wanting so badly to fix this issue or that issue with their character. Well, on Tuesday, you will now have that ability to customize your character. Now, what we don't know is, is it going to be free the first time? Are we only going to get one other chance to customize our character? Or is it going to be similar to how it works in Grand Theft Auto Online? Every time you customize your character, you're going to have to pay a certain amount of money. Like, for example, $100 or $500 or something like that. So, I guess we'll find out Tuesday what exactly does customizing our character entail. Plus, Rockstar did mention a while back in a previous Newswire that they had actually improved the uh, character creator. So, not only are we going to get to go back and uh, customize our character, edit it, tweak it, improve it, we're also going to have, I guess, better tools at our disposal Tuesday when it comes to character creation in Red Dead Online. Some other abilities that we're going to be having is dramatic improvements to player control with quicker and more responsive movement across all phases of combat and locomotion. A lot of people have complained about all those things that we just went over, and it seems like Rockstar has been listening to the feedback from the community and hopefully Tuesday we will see a significant difference with how our characters move, how they control the quicker, more responsive movement across all phases of combat and locomotion. It'll be interesting Tuesday to see how good or bad that change turns out being. Another ability is greater damage resistance in defensive. Rockstar has continued to tweak the defensive mode. So far, so good. And hopefully this will make defensive even better for those of us that prefer to go into defensive mode in the free roam lobbies of Red Dead Online. Rockstar also mentioned something a while back how they were going to make it to where we no longer had to shift from offensive to, to defensive whenever we were coming out of like a showdown series or horse race or stranger danger that it would automatically shift from you know like defensive to offensive back to defensive. So we'll see if they've got that fixed. Other abilities coming, including new ability cards. Now, one thing I would like to talk about real quick is one ability card in particular, I think it needs to be nerfed a little. And of course, I'm talking about Slippery Bastard. So maybe there'll be some quote unquote balancing to the current ability cards. Whether or not the new ability cards that are coming Tuesday make the game better or worse remains to be seen. We're also getting the ability to do new daily challenges as well as new daily challenges for roles. That's right, daily role challenges are coming this Tuesday. And more dynamic events, the ability to do more dynamic events happening all across the frontier. So those are some exciting new abilities that are coming our way. Now, when it comes to the three new roles, the bounty hunter, the trader, the collector, it's going to be, I guess, a separate rank system from like 0 to 20. And for that, there's going to be what they call roll XP. So you have the standard XP for our standard rank. But for our roll ranks, we'll, we'll have roll XP to rank up with as well as roll tokens. So the roll tokens that you will earn. I don't know if you'll be able to purchase them, but you will be able to earn them as you rank up as a bounty hunter, trader, and collector. The roll tokens will allow you to unlock uh, skills in your kits for whichever of the three roles that you are trying to rank up, be it bounty hunter, trader, or collector. And you'll be able to earn roll tokens as well as XP. And the highest rank you can reach in all three roles is rank 20. But once again, it will be interesting to see if we can actually acquire roll tokens by purchase as well as earning them with either cash or gold. If purchasing roll tokens is an option, I'm sure it's probably going to be gold. Okay, so let's talk about the three rolls. Let's go into more detail. Now, each roll has some abilities that will be coming with it that you'll be able to unlock through the progression of the rank system with roll XP as well as roll tokens. 
For the bounty hunter, there's actually several things that the bounty hunter will be able to do ability-wise. First off is focus, which uh, will allow targets to glow red in eagle eye, giving you a better idea of the uh, bounty that you're going after. Now, I don't know if this is going to be strictly NPC targets only, or will it also entail actual player bounties because once you reach rank 12 as a bounty hunter you will have the ability to go after actual players that have a bounty of twenty dollars or higher you'll be able to go after them you'll be able to catch them or kill them and you'll have the ability to take them to the local sheriff office and they'll have the ability to serve time how much time they have to serve behind bars remains to be seen more abilities for the bounty hunter include some gun tricks whether or not this proves to be useful or practical or just entertaining and, and fun to do remain to be seen. Uh, the ability to spin, spin up, reverse spin, alternating flips, and of course, dual gun spinning. But some more important abilities that the bounty hunter will be able to acquire include Eagle Eye Plus, which will give you the ability to track enemies while sprinting or galloping. Now, I hope that we can actually use Eagle Eye Plus for more than just tracking enemies. I would like to be able to gallop around looking for treasure as well as certain animals and of course plants and herbs with Eagle Eye Plus. So we could be running around you know, while Eagle Eye Plus is activated instead of having to walk or, or, or slow trot on our horse. So I'm hoping that Eagle Eye Plus will, will be more than simply just tracking enemies while sprinting or galloping, because that actually could be rather handy for a lot of things, ability-wise. More abilities that the bounty hunter is going to have is ducking, the ability to duck for protection while on horseback, and this is going to be a definite lifesaver, not just for bounty hunters, but for players in general. And if you look at the way the different items were yesterday that we went over in that video, and today with the abilities, it seems like they're scattered in a way where you're encouraged to eventually want to get all three rolls, if anything else, for the sake of getting all these abilities as well as items. And ducking on a horse, you know, to protect yourself from people shooting at you, whether they're other players or NPCs, will be most helpful indeed. And the final ability that you will have as a bounty hunter that we're going to go over is Perception Receive a Notification of Bounties from a Greater Distance. And that's something a lot of bounty hunters are going to want to have because they're hunting for bounties and you want to know about where the bounties are and if you have perception well you'll be able to have a wider range when it comes to your territory of bounty hunting the next abilities come from the trader first off awareness the ability to identify rival trader wagons at an increased range and this is one aspect of the trader I'm not really excited about. I wish that as traders, we could just, for the most part, mind our own business and not have to worry about other traders. I don't really see the point of that, to be honest. But Rockstar likes to encourage PvP and, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, friendly competition between the businesses. This is nothing new. We saw this in Grand Theft Auto Online on numerous occasions. And, of course, that's something they're bringing over to Red Dead Online, courtesy of the Frontier Pursuits. Awareness, which I think would probably be a skill that you would only want to have as a trader. I don't see how that would be useful as anything else unless you happen to be hunting down trader wagons, which I think that's kind of a bull thing to do. The next ability that traders will have is canine warning. You will be able to train your camp dog to warn of thieves raiding your camp. So that's going to be very handy to have your dog let you know, hey, you're about to get robbed. You might want to get back to camp ASAP. You may want to prepare to deal with these thieves heading your way. And I believe the thieves are only going to be NPCs. I don't think they're going to be other players. So that's a good thing, hopefully. The next ability is efficiency. Learn to increase the amount of usable materials for perfect carcasses. This is an ability that I'm going to really like to have as the trader especially since obviously the more uh, materials you have as well as perfect carcasses equal more money to be made as the trader and the final ability we're going to go over when it comes to the trader is protection reduce the chance of raids at your camp and that is absolutely another ability i'm going to want to have being a trader now we're moseying over to collector abilities divination since when near collectibles and you're absolutely going to want to have this ability as a collector 
you want to have every advantage possible to know exactly where all them goodies are that you're looking for. So you're definitely going to want to have divination. The next ability is potential detect disturbed earth when using eagle eye. So I wonder if potential will actually work in conjunction with eagle eye plus. I wonder if those abilities will stack. So you could be running around with eagle eye plus and also potential. That'd be kind of cool if Rockstar actually made made it work that way. I don't know if it will or not. Another reason for you to you know maybe work on getting you know two or all three rolls maxed out eventually. So you got potential. And then the other ability you have is intuition, narrowing your search area. Now, this is going to make things a lot better for you as the collector. So I imagine that it's probably going to be similar to the way the treasure hunt system works. You have like a big yellow dot or whatever, and you have to run around. You have to wait for your controller to vibrate or you have to use eagle eye to look for the, you know, the golden plume where the chest happens to be. And with intuition, I guess the search area for that treasure is, is going to be significantly smaller, maybe a little smaller. And yes, I would like for this ability actually to work for treasure hunting as well, but I guess we'll see if that actually turns out to be the case. Probably not, but we can all hope and dream, right? The next ability is equine assistance, the ability for you to collect herbs from horseback. Now, this is going to be really interesting, and it's an ability I'm going to want to use because I'm often collecting uh, wild carrots as well as oregano, mints, etc., especially for like daily challenges. And it would be really nice if I didn't have to get off my horse, reach down and just grab that carrot for my horse or, or grab that creeping time or grab some of that yarrow real quick and move about my day. So I'm definitely going to want to get this ability, even if being a collector is not my main role. I absolutely want to get equine assistance. Now, a few other abilities that is coming with uh, Frontier Pursuits on Tuesday include new free roam events that unlock as you progress through each roll, additional stable slots, so you're going to have the ability to purchase more horses. I also hope we have the ability to sell horses we no longer want. So far, we've gotten no word from Rockstar back about that, but that's been another issue that a lot of people have complained about, including my friend Apollyon and a few others as well. I do not wish to discard a horse that I spent money on. I mean, we have the ability to sell cars that we purchased in Grand Theft Auto Online since launch of that game back in October 2013. You'd think we'd also have that same ability when it comes to selling our horses in Red Dead Online. Other abilities improved and improved selling prices for jewelry across the board. So a lot of people right now are going around looting, looking in houses, looting dead bodies of NPCs, stocking up on all those jewelry items. Saving it for Tuesday, and I get the feeling that even though the price is going to go up on all those items, I don't think it's going to be like a significant jump. I would say probably like maybe 5 or 10% at the most, but hey, you know, every little bit helps. Next is the ability to find lootable containers in ambient wagons. So, hey, more looting options throughout Red Dead Online, the better. I love me some looting. And of course, the ability to have more custom outfit slots, as well as the ability to name those outfits in your wardrobe and another thing that a lot of players in Red Dead Online have been wanting we currently only have three outfit slots and a lot of you have been wanting more outfit slots and it looks like Rockstar is listening to us giving us more outfit slots as well as the ability to name those outfits plus more abilities include uh, weapons rebalancing to reduce the reliance on headshots as a primary kill method in PvP and much, much more. So we'll find out about more of the abilities that we're going to have as a collector, bounty hunter, trader, and simply just playing Red Dead Online Tuesday when Frontier Pursuits arrives for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Which of these abilities are you most excited about? And if there's one in particular that requires you to be a certain role, is that even more motivation for you to go be a bounty hunter, trader, and our collector? Feel free and let us know below in the comments section.